hate fight your way into school day. Oh, we can't just sit here. Let's run for it. Yeah, that's where you're wrong. Okay, we can just sit here. You hear the screaming, right? <coughs> we'll be fine. Besides, it's taco day. Hmm, tacos versus fiery death. Uh, I'll see if it's safe. Things are calming down. Let's go. Don't give up, kids! Can't you smell the tacos? Oh, ah. Totally uncool, man. Oh, what are you complaining oh. about? We're oh. helping you get inside! Oh. Ah. I believe the words you're looking for are thank you. Bye. Uh, you conjugate a verb. Don't forget your assignment. I want you to punch ten old ladies and then write a poem about it. Extra credit if it's in the face. Amy is so gorgeous. Oh, what I wouldn't give to smash her with a hammer. <sighs> I can't be tied down to one woman. Blastus keeps his options open. Hey, Mamie, you look fantastic. Sorry, what? Were you talking to me? I said you... Ah! Ah! Look at Megawatt! Dreamy. Oh, he is too cool! My optical sensors can't take it! Look at Megawatt. He got upgrades. The girls were throwing themselves at him. I love you! You complete me! I love you! Well, let's get upgrades. If it works for him, it'll work for us. Upgrades? With what money? Your mom is broke, and my parents just spent a fortune on their second honeymoon. Baby. I'd marry you all over again. This is so romantic. Every time I come over here, you are babysitting Mecca Jody. Nice. That was my favorite hand. And I don't want to know why it's your favorite. Ugh, look, look, if we want upgrades, we're gonna have to get jobs. Dude, you think hard work is the answer to everything? I refuse to work for what I want. Then we're not getting upgrades. It appears we're at a stalemate. Prepare your weaponry! Yawn. Taste my pain balls! Ugh, have a helping of my agony arrows. Relent! I don't want to unleash my red-hot laser cannon on you! Uh, I would feel remorse if I had to blast your face with my weapon of rage. Then tell me we don't have to get jobs! I can't lie to you, man. I respect you too much. Then burn! <laughs> feel anything? Only shame. Give up? Yes. Good. So, they're hiring at the mall. Fine! If it'll make you happy, I'll get a stupid job. It would make me ecstatic. Good. Good. Yeah, it ain't easy working with the Gorgon. He's big and merciless. But the real danger comes from his farts. Same with Blastus' mom. Mm. Anyway, I'm sure we can handle shoving the customers into the cage. Whoa! You guys ain't starting out as shovers. You're on EVAC. Hey, there's your woman. Look, Mamie. <laughs> they have jobs. How pathetic. <sighs> oh, that was awesome. I'm going again. Move towards the light, people. Sir, the ride is over. Please exit through the creature's rear end. I ain't going nowhere. I stake this claim so you butt nuggets just get 
your claim? I'm prospecting for gold. This monster's colon is ripe with it. Gold? Have you found any? Counting today? Uh, none. But any day now. Until then, I sell my coolant for food and supplies. You can sell your coolant? Where? At the Coolant Alliance. They pay 50 bucks a pint. These hoses will extract the coolant. Ah! You get better coolant if you laugh during the extraction. <laughs> <laughs> so much better than a job. I'm going to respectfully disagree. Ah! <laughs> Behold our beauty! Choke on your envy! Oh, hi. Are you new? No, I'm Thrasher. My locker is next to yours. I, I make you tons of mixtapes. Don't tease. <laughs> I would have noticed you. Hey, ladies. <laughs> Must have drill bit. Must have chick magnet. I can't believe we can only sell coolant once a month. Mamie finally noticed me. Yeah? Well, I can't go back to being mediocre. I was meant for the spotlight. I didn't take four years of jazz and tap to hide in the shadows. Five, six, seven, eight. Au revoir, chérie. Au revoir, I bid you adieu. We had so much fun, but now we're through. We are so screwed. Wait! Look! You boys looking for a girlfriend? No, look there! Next! Goo goo ga ga! Pee pee on Adi! It has come to my attention that some of you are selling coolant. I should warn you of the side effects. You may experience jitters and paranoia. It can cause fire blisters. And worst of all, rectal whistling. I feel sexy. You are sexy. I've never felt comfortable with my body. Stop it. You are a foxy god of masculinity and desire. Oh, there's Mamie. Let her smell your musk. Ah! Megawatt wants me to meet him at Twilight Park tonight. He's going to ask you to be his girlfriend. You're so lucky. I could gut you. Yeah, I guess. But to be honest, if it wasn't for his homicidal tendencies, we'd have nothing to talk about. His upgrades are so hot. But what I've always liked is his tank full of coolant. Coolant? You gotta appreciate the irony. We've got 30 minutes before Mamie hooks up with Megawatt. We've got to get our coolant back. Oh, bless you. Life's cooling blood. Oh, mine tastes like chicken. Just drink it! God, don't taste good at all. <laughs> Those freaky coolant machines want to suck us dry. You've got to hide us. Ha! No chance. You're after my gold. Mamie, there's something I need to say. Yes, Megawatt? I want to see other people. What? It's not you, baby. Totally me. Dude, it's gonna mash your woman. Not if we can help it. Yeah! Hey! Oh, back off, Gorgon. Taste my pain balls! 
<laughs> I did it! I can't believe it worked! He choked on my paintballs! Did you see that, Thrasher? Did you see that? <sighs> he saved me. Um. Thrasher. Yeah, right, Thrasher. So, how can I ever repay you? I have an idea. <laughs> Hey, butt nuggets! All that bouncing around loosened up the precious, sweet, delicious colon gold. We are rich, boys. Rich. No, my precious colon gold is melting. Melting! So, where were we? <sighs> okay, I'll take a rain check. Dude, she's such a tease. Today is picture day. I know some of you are anxious, but this is gonna be fun. Years from now, when you look back, these pictures will remind you of the special times you had at Harry S. Apocalypse High. Don't forget to smile. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Good said I wouldn't, but I'm about to. <laughs> How do I look? Horrifying! You're lucky. I'm cursed with Smile. beauty. Yeah, but you're ugly on the inside, and that's what counts. Smile. Seriously, do I need a comb? Say cheese! <laughs> now let's do one of the whole class! Me in the middle! You may have heard of the No Child Left Benign Standardized Test. It measures your violent tendencies and reveals any mushy feelings we need to stuff out of you. You may have also heard that the test is insanely difficult, but I bet none of you have heard that the test is... Uh, wait for it... After lunch! To pass, you'll need to be fearless! You'll need finely tuned state-of-the-art weapons! And lightning fast reflexes! Not fast enough. So what happens if we fail? You'll be sold as slaves and forced to toil in the Tigerian acid mines. Oh, been there, done that. Well, you'll be driven mad as the acid eats through your face, eyes, brain, and face! Yawn. And you'll repeat the ninth grade. <laughs> Listen, to pass a test of mindless violence, we need to use our minds. Now, our only hope is in these books. Books are dangerous! Remember my Mimo? Ooh, Teenage Vampires, my favorite. Hear me out. If the books are full of information we need for the test, what does it matter how we get that information into us? <laughs> Well, this is all kinds of wrong. It could be on the test! Oh, you're making me sad. Yeah, maybe you just have to let it digest. I don't see why everyone is so calm. The test is in an hour! <laughs> What's with those kids? They're in the sunshine class. The what? Oh, it's a class for robots with faulty psychochips. Oh, that's so sad. Eh, tragic, yeah, but they get their own bus and they don't have to take the test. My friend, I just had the best idea. We're going to get into their class. Dude, the Sunshiners are full of feelings. We can't fake that. Oh, yeah? <laughs> you want us to get into your private shame? Oh, yeah. What are you doing? Mom! I can explain! I will not have this filth in my house, mister! 
If we want out of the test, we have to do something drastic. This is crazy. Attention, everyone. We have a special treat for you all. Hugs and kisses, rainbows and rings. You're as pretty as a butterfly's wings. I do declare the gentle sir. Your sugary song makes my womanhood stir. Relax, people. We have the situation under control. Hi, everyone. We have new friends. Let's give them a special welcome. We're making paper mache masks. Meow! Thrasher, Blasters, this class is a safe harbor for sensitive ships. Unroll your sail and come out to sea with us. Who wants to share? Okay, Weenus, here's the sharing stick. What do you want to share? I just want to love you all to death. <laughs> Blasters, would you like to share? Would I ever? Sometimes. I don't feel fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I've never felt fresh. <laughs> Hold me. <sighs> oh, man, that felt good. Thrasher, you got to try this. My spirit soars. At first I thought I was constipated, but now I know I'm just happy. Oh, I know. I can feel the glee creeping up the back of my throat like little bits of happiness barf. Let's blow some joy chunks on Mrs. Crunchy. Having fun, boys? I might die if I don't hug you. You're not real. Awkward. Initiate protocol 14. Mm -hmm. Crisscross applesauce. Okay, class, I have something to tell you. I'm a holographic representation of this rocket. Rocket? rocket? <laughs> My mission is to dispose of nonviolent robots who burden society with their tears and songs. <laughs> I'm sure you have feelings of confusion and fear. That's normal, but they're still feelings and therefore intolerable. Thus, you are rocketing to the heart of one of Insanus's 12 oppressive sons. Which one? The hot one. All right. Test time. Everybody ready? What about you, Tacklebot? Feeling good? I know you'll totally rock it. Whatever, weirdo. Okay. Let's put on our thinking caps. Ding! 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 The test has four parts. Multiple choice. True and false. A fight to the death, and then an essay. The key to this test is to stay focused, people. Don't let anything distract you. If you have any questions, I'll be doing my stretching exercises. Oh, yeah. That's a deep stretch. Gotta stay limber for the ladies. One and two down the knees. Hey, eyes on your papers, people. I can't believe I'm saying this, but we need to rally the Sunshiners to help us take over the ship. Shh, not during Shadow Puppet Theater. Who will help me bake the bread? Not me. Not me. Listen, uh, everyone, we're on a rocket aimed at the sun. Uh, the only way to stop it is to fight for our lives. But fighting is wrong. I know you hate fighting. We all hate fighting. We hate it so much, we need to let our hatred of fighting fuel our desire to fight. Can't we just hug? I give us some hugs. No one is questioning the quality of your hugs. Your hugs are legendary. Nevertheless, they will not defeat the ship. I want to paint you. Wow. I'll take care of this. What are you going to do? What I do best, incite a riot. Mrs. Crunchite has canceled our performance of Mamma Mia. Ah! Ah, I was a dancing queen! 
ship's defenses activated. Now, children, it's okay to be angry, but it's never appropriate to hit. Don't listen to her, class. If we all attack, there's nothing she can do to stop us. <laughs> Deploy Steve. Team Steve. Hey, Steve. <laughs> gotcha. Hey, keep it up. I think you're hurting the ship. Blasters? We can work this out. What if I teach everyone how to make parfaits? You were kind to us. You gave us hope. And for that, you must be destroyed! Autopilot disengaged. Uh, can anyone fly the ship? I can. <laughs> okay, fly in the ship. How hard can it be? Just push this button, pull that lever, push that button, squeeze this sack of something. Dude, I did it! Ah! Huh. Look at that fireball coming right at us. Yeah. Oh well, back to the test! Thrasher and Blastus? You two are responsible for all of this? You've destroyed the school and most of the city! I've I've never seen such destruction and carnage. Ah, congratulations. You passed the test. Looking good. <laughs> yes! The activity fair is upon us again. This year there are dozens of clubs, each a complete waste of time. You must join at least one, and many of them require branding. <laughs> Alas, boy! <laughs> uh, which club should I join? Oh, what about the marching band? <laughs> Hey, trash face. Hey, uh, what's your name? Babyhead? Ah, it doesn't matter. But what does matter is my club, dedicated to the giant miming beaver. Did you know there are only a hundred left on Insanus? But with the right efforts, we can destroy them too. Hey, Thrasher. My club works with the elderly. Can I count on you and your friends? Seriously? Uh, absolutely. No way! Old people are like scary danger. <laughs> I'm blind! I'm blind! Babyhead and I would love to help. So freaked out. Didn't you see that commercial? Old people are dangerous! Old people, besides their tiresome stories and troubling bowel issues, they're also incredibly deadly. And not in the cool way. When they turn 90, they go nuclear. Or worse. Bingo! But then, the big brains in our government got an idea. We can use their explosive power against our bitterest enemies. Who would have thunk it? Why well, show them what for? Fly on, patriotic citizen! Firing the elderly at our intergalactic enemies. It's everyone's responsibility. Is that it? 
Dude, everyone knows old people go nuclear. But if you launch them in time, they're completely harmless. Now calm down. Don't embarrass me in front of Mimi. Embarrass you? Don't embarrass me! Uh, I'm not embarrassing. If anyone's embarrassing, it's you, Mr. Embarrassing Man Face. Look out! I'll hold him off! Get back to whatever nightmare realm spawned you! Would you like to see pictures of my grandbabies? Unholy terror! Relent! Hey, guys. Glad you could make it. Now, these old timers are all about to go nuclear. They're pretty excited to get to the launch pad, but we need to make sure that they don't get lost on the way. Have fun, but stay ahead of them. <laughs> find the running of the elderly a little terrifying. <laughs> T terrified? Us? Ha-ha. <laughs> uh -huh. So many chasing us! Oh, fudge. We missed one and she's about to expire. But I just don't have time to get her. Uh, I suppose we could do it. You're the best. Now I won't be late for my date with Megawatt. <gasps> this old lady is my Nana. You know what's funny? I was looking forward to the day I would explode on an enemy planet, but now that it's here, there's a few things I wish I would have done. I even made a list. Uh, jump a motorcycle over a hurricane, blow up a star, uh, punch a unicorn in the face. This is a long list, but we'll try our best. Launch her now! She's grotesque! Look at her hanging spots! I bet her teeth sink too! <laughs> I'm so skeeved out! <gasps> Ooh, I said that out loud, didn't I? Get lost, pal! Eat my ass, fault. Better than I imagined. <laughs> How do we get him to speak? <laughs> Jeez, what a great day. Good times, good times. Well, all good things must end. Why? Why must they end? Because I explode, remember? Oh, yeah, that. No! We'll turn your clock back! <laughs> oh, Budge! Pour up her body strength! No! Oh, we need to go get help. But we can't leave her here. They might come for her. Uh, I know, we'll hide her under the bridge. You mean the one by the toxic waste dump with all the violent escaped prisoners? Nice! Kapow! Uh, kapow too hard, didn't I? Uh, just sit tight, Nana. Our friend Mamie knows all kinds of things about the elderly. She'll tell us how to turn your clock back. <sighs> Thank you, boys. I never felt so alive. So alive! To the teddy bears! Hi, guys. Did you find that old lady? Yeah, and we had an amazing idea. We want to set her clock back so she doesn't explode! That's a terrible idea! Don't you know what can happen in the hours before they expire? Yeah, 
sure, sure, they could explode. Or worse! Don't you two watch commercials? Oh, help! Oh, thank goodness you come. My cat do push me down the steps. Just like I paid him to do. Ha ha ha! It's a day before you go nuclear. I'll push free! She's become an energy vampire. <laughs> Wait, this was a commercial? No one told me this was real. Ow, ah! Could I get to work in non-union? Now I'll go explode! Energy vampires? Ah, uh, that's worse. Oh, she's feeding all over town. Ah, we really blew it. Nana's a vampire. She might blow up the planet. But you know what? We're gonna look back on this someday and laugh. <laughs> really, it's it's funny, funny stuff. Yeah, you're right. This was a serious bonehead move. Now look at all this <laughs> carnage, yet it's hilarious. We really put the world in jeopardy. <laughs> Whose dumb idea was this? I think it was yours. <laughs> I think you're right. I'm a numbskull. <laughs> and I was dumb enough to go along. <laughs> Team Nana! Nana, you cut that out right now. It's time to get into the catapult and rocket towards an enemy planet. You man the catapult. I've been blessed with a beautiful head. I never understood why I had this gift until now. Look at my head. Mmm, it's delicious. Ooh, that's right. Come closer. You can partake in my tasty life force. Nana hungry! Mmm, it's so good! Why? Because I trusted you, Nana. I opened my heart and you broke it. I should have never chosen family over an unattainable girl. Roger! Rastus! You are wrong! The life of an old woman can be lonely, but you have filled my tired old joints with joy! I love you both! You mean it? I do! Can I eat you? Nana, no. Bad. Oh, crap. I declare this new insanus. Oh, this is the sixth new insanus this month. Planets are fragile, dude. Hey, Mamie. <clears throat> She'll never talk to me again. Yes, she will. All you have to do is become a conquering hero of the teddy bear planet. They're not as cute as I heard. No. No, they are not. I hate this time of year. Everyone's in love. It gets like this whenever the butterflies return. Spring is here! Hooray! I agree. Who wants to fight the mutant butterflies solo? I'm glad I have a girlfriend. Since when? Dude, I've told you about her like a million times. Dude, I've got a girlfriend. So, did I tell you about my girlfriend? I need to tell you something. What? <laughs> Someone's got a girlfriend. Who is this girl? She's not a girl. She's a woman, and I met her on the internet. Her name is Shakzana, and she's a model. She's 28, and she's a model. She calls me Boo, and she's a model. She's hot. Yeah, she's a model. Why do you seem so surprised? Look at this body, man. This body drives women crazy. No arguments here. One look at me, and ladies have been known to just die from lust. Lust kills them. Ugh, they're dead. I'm a very, very sexy robot. Okay, now this is getting weird. Say it! Say I'm sexy! 
All of you, say it! Last call for Flight 117 to the Toxic Hills. Okay, that's all of them. Have a good flight. <laughs> You know about her. I know two things. She's a B A B E, and she's from Rechnia. Rechnia? That planet is a dump. True. Rechnia is poor in resources, clean water, and cash, but rich in desperate hotties. Are you sure you can trust her? There's a lot of freaks on the internet. Dude, it's time for you to get over your suspicion of complete strangers we meet on the internet. You've become a snob. This girl isn't some weirdo. I've known her for almost two and a half days. Not enough weapons. Fine, but if she turns out to be a serial killer and chops your head off, I don't want to hear any crying. Did I cry the last time? <laughs> <laughs> hey, if I say or do something you know isn't true, would you be a pal and back me up? Did you lie to this girl? I told her I'm super rich at 45. <laughs> what? Look, there she is. <laughs> Blast us. Honey bear! Oh, let me look at you. You're everything I imagined. No, you are different than I imagined. I imagined something else. But here we are. We can't go back in time. Blastus, who is this prevert staring at me with hungry eyes? Oh, uh, this prevert is Thrasher. He's my assistant. Assistant? Shaxana, do you have any luggage? Just a small handbag. <laughs> Good, I was afraid they'd lose it. So, Blastus, you promised me a ride in your limousine. Of course! Thrasher, bring the limousine around. Where am I supposed to get a limousine? You're doing great, pal. Thanks. Where am I supposed to be headed, anyway? My mansion. You don't have a mansion. I don't have a limo, either, but I'm in one. By the way, you're a great driver. When did you learn? I didn't. <laughs> Are you going to open the door for us? Well, we're at your mansion, boss. How do you propose we get inside? Easy. I just need to find my spare key. Here it is. Gunner, the newspapers are right. The poor are revolting. Oh, I agree. The poor are revolting. <laughs> Oh, Dad, you totally cracked me up. Bless us. You told me this was your house. Who are these people? That, honey, is a good question with an equally good answer that Thrasher will help me concoct. This is ridiculous. You can't keep telling her one crazy lie after another. It appears I can. The truth is, these people are ghosts. Yes, wayward spirits that refuse to believe they don't exist. Dad, is that true? Do we, like... Die? Are we ghosts? I guess so, son. Perhaps we should get into the spirit of things. <laughs> oh, Gunner, what has gotten into you today? <laughs> I made it funny. <laughs> Where's Shaxana? She's powdering her nose. Well, when she gets back, you're going to confess what a big fibber you are. <laughs> What is going on in here? Tell her or I will. Uh, Shaxana, I have some bad news. I've been lying to you. I'm not 45, I'm not rich, I don't own the police department. What about winning the chili cook-off? Was that lie too? It's okay, Blastus. Everyone lies. I told you I was going to powder my nose. I really went number two. So you're, you're fine that you flew from another planet only to hear one giant lie after another? Blastus, I don't mind that you lied to me. I know you are trying to impress me. I'm just glad you're normal. There are so many 
freaks on the internet. You make me feel like princess. But better, back home in Vrechnea, princess Poplau. Then it dawned on me, princess is not royalty. Princess is donkey. When I am with you, I feel chocotastic. Is that the word? I have no idea what you're talking about. All I know is this has been the best 35 minutes of my life. It's time to make an honest woman of me, Blastus. I love you, but I can't wait forever. Who, what are you saying? We get married, big wedding, lots of presents, invite the whole town. Then honeymoon, adopt babies to preserve a sexy body. Hire nanny who steals from us, lock her in cellar. Just like storybook, yes? Mary? So soon? That's, that's crazy. Crazy awesome. I'm marrying an illegal alien, and I'm still in high school. I am so going to get a reality show. At first, I was against this marriage, but she's a model who's into short, fat, selfish liars. She's she's obviously your soulmate. <laughs> Last this has been four hours. She's not coming. You're wrong. I make her feel like donkey. No, he's right. <laughs> she left a note. <laughs> it says she's not coming. <laughs> It's like, it's like 15 exclamation points at the end. Wow. Oh, she really means it. Well, I saw her stealing all the wedding presents in the back room. She even gave me one. Oh, it's a juicer. Score. She lied to me again. First it was about going number two. Now she faked the wedding and stole the presents. You know, I don't know if I can still trust her. All right, that's it. I'm giving her a piece of my mind. Unless she's going number two. Then I'm going to wait, and when she's done, heads are going to roll. Ah, uh, you're, uh... You're still feeding us, right? Shakzana! You're stealing the wedding presents. Don't give me the high and mighty look. You robots on Insanus think you are so much better than Rechnia, and we are sick of you being right. I come from poor planet, desperately short on home appliances and bath linens. We haven't had gravy boats since the mines closed. So we trick dumb men into wedding, then steal presents. Wow, that's actually the dumbest thing I've ever heard. You stomped on my friend's heart for a salad shaker. You want to fight? I'll warn you. This bag has panini press. I'll kill you before I let you take it. You're a pirate! Now I will cut you in two. Yarg! What's going on in here? Blastus, your girlfriend not only scammed you to steal the wedding presents, she's a pirate who's done this to thousands of guys! Let me explain something to you. She's a model! Dude, really? Blasty, as you can see, I have lied and betrayed you. I toyed with your emotions. I never wanted to marry you. I'm still gonna tell people you're my girlfriend! How did it go? Another success! We have much booty, including this! Sandwich Maker! Wish we could hire people to be ghosts for us. Okay, okay. Well, don't be discouraged. Being a ghost might have its benefit. I guess so. I could totally have fun scaring people. Hey, look, there's a dork from my school. I'm gonna go make him pee. Honey, it says don't walk. Uh, hello? We're ghosts now? The cars will totally pass right through me. <laughs> oh, of course. Oh, Gunner, won't that be fun? <laughs> 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 I don't think we're dead. Well, I think Megawatt is. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> 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 A little help. <laughs> Still fine. <laughs> oh, when did the street get so busy? Hey, sweet rims.
I have a major announcement. The school had to make a tough decision. Spend our meager budget on much needed textbooks or blow it all on a pointless and wasteful fireworks display. I'm happy to report that the fireworks will commence at 10 tonight. As promised, one lucky student gets to ride the big one as it soars into the air, then explodes into a million pieces. Uh, I can't even begin to tell you how jealous I am. Ooh. And the lucky student is... Weenus. <laughs> jealous much? Congratulations, dude. Hey, Mamie. I'd really like to see Pee-wee get shot into space. You wanna go? No, I have to babysit my little brother tonight. Hey, Thrasher, I think Blastus is upset. Dude, are you okay? Okay? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't want to ride that rocket anyway. It's stupid! Well, you dropped your shooting star. <laughs> I really wanted to ride the rocket! <laughs> I know, I know. Mamie has a baby brother, and I have a baby sister. We finally have something in common. Dude, then grow a set and talk to her. I, what if I mess up? Bro, I'm your wingman. I've got your back. I'll be right beside you. Right beside me? I'll use stealth mode. You won't even know I'm there. Stealth mode! Oh, my little sister is driving me nuts. Smooth. Stealth mode. Sorry, I was saying my little sister is driving me nuts. You, you know what I mean? She, she can be a real pain. Well played! Oh, Your little sister can't be nearly as annoying as my little brother. I don't know. This morning, she took a blowtorch to my crotch. Maybe we should get them together and see who's worse? Nailed it! Oh, oh. Actually, that would be fantastic. Could you come over tonight? Seriously? I, uh, absolutely. That was awesome! Why do you keep doing that? I... I can't talk in stealth mode. Oh, I'm so happy you're here. Terabyte, this is Thrasher. Hi, Terabyte, this is Mecha Jelly. <laughs> We're all gonna have fun tonight. Yeah, we will. Okay, here's the keys and a list of emergency numbers you'll need when he attacks you. I fight him off with this. <laughs> Whatever you do, keep your hands away from his mouth and his backside. Just as dangerous. Most importantly, this is Tickle Me Psycho, Terabyte's favorite toy. Do not lose it, because he will freak. Babe, you ready? I'd like to get there before Weenus is on fire. Dude, very cool of you to intentionally put yourself in the friend zone. Have fun trying to get out. All right, I'm off, Terabyte. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. You're going to be a good boy for Thrasher. So what would you two like to do? And I was afraid you wouldn't get along. Hello, Mr. Tiger. You are so fierce. No, don't eat me. Let's be friends. Hello? What are you doing? Not working on Electric Rug, if that's what you're wondering. I'm a deaf on one, buddy. Maybe get you to go to the fireworks, make a watch. Come here, by myself. You're the twins of terror. Now get over here and help me. Don't worry. I saw a movie once that told me everything I need to know about kids. I'll be right there. <laughs> Did someone wish for a nanny? <laughs> What movie did you see? What do you care? Captain Nanny is here. favorite thing in the world, violating someone's privacy. Behold, Amy's diary. No way! 
Oh, no, wait, put it back. Come on, take a peek. Now you can't just take a peek. Think of all you could learn about her. The secret to her heart might be in these pages. I'm better than that. Oh, you want me to do it, don't you? Hmm. Oh, my. Interesting. No way. Oh, no way. No way! Give me that. What does she say about... Wait, this is a cookbook! No, it's a test of your integrity. How do you think you did? Bath time! This is a perfect time to just... <laughs> Thank you, Captain Obvious, but we can't. What are they fighting over, anyway? Oh, it's a stupid toy. It's called Tickle Me Psycho. Yeah, I know that commercial. Here you go, Bobby Tron. Congratulations on surviving until your third birthday. No thanks to you, Father. Father, it's a Tickle Me Psycho! I don't like being touched! <laughs> I love it! and slow, and I'll let you live. Now I'm walking out of here, and you people aren't gonna follow me. You got it? Uh, yes, sir. Good. <laughs> I want my mama. <laughs> it appears the two toddlers are throwing a mega temper tantrum in response to the escape of a favorite doll. <laughs> Whoops. Baby made a boo-boo. The 25th toddler riot this year. Last year at this time, there's been more than eight. We have mayor amputators coming. The drop in violence in our younger population is worse. So again, I say, if we want violence fighting, we really need mom and dad as part. Together, we can escalate this ordinary temper tantrum into a global catastrophe. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. If we don't get that doll back, Mamie is going to kill me. Well, then think. If you were smelly, hairy, and didn't like to be touched, where would you go? So, just because he's weird, he has to come in here? Come on, you have to admit it's a logical first stop. No, the first stop should have been the caves, then like a million other places, and then here. Get out of my store! Oh, these caves are dark. I can't see anything. Hold on. I'll light a torch. Much better. How am I supposed to play in a war if you're breathing down my neck? Check yourself before you wreck yourself! Shh, we better get out of here before they see us. Quietly, don't make a sound. Really? Really? Personal space invader! If you think you're dragging us back to those kids, you're crazy. We put up with their sticky fingers and snotty hugs for too long. The Tickle Me Psychos are fighting back! We're declaring war on toddlers! Great, that's it's about time someone did. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Might be a great thing! Unfortunately, you know too much. I'm afraid you're gonna have to suffer the tickle torture. <laughs> that doesn't sound so bad. The moon. Dude, stealth mode? So uncool. Don't worry, we can outrun them. Oh crap! Hey! Stop it! This was supposed to be my night! I won the contest! So if you want to tear yourself to pieces, that's just fine! But first, light the fuse on this puppy and send me into the right unknown! He's right. Light him up, it's only fair. 
Sticking up for me. Uh, don't worry, we'll get your face back on right. It's not my face. I just, I just wanted to ride the rocket. <laughs> I know, big guy. I know. <laughs> Step. Oh, Tacklebot. Poor, poor Tacklebot. Pretty pathetic, dude. Uh, hello? Tacklebot is insecure. He lashes out at robots he finds threatening. He finds you threatening. Did he chop your legs off? No! Cause you're a sissy boy. He is intimidated by my cool. So how is life in the fast lane, Weenus? Hot, wet, and spicy, gentlemen. <laughs> and it's getting better every day now that I join Frenemy. Dude, those social networking sites are for losers. It's not for losers. Since I joined Frenemy, I have something fun to do every night. Go Venus, go Venus, it's your Checked out this frenemy site, and we have to do this. You just give frenemy complete access to your personal information, account numbers, medical records, passwords, photographs, and addresses, and like magic, everything you own is stolen. But in the process, you turn millions of strangers into close personal friends. That sounds too good to be true. See my buzz? You're killing it. You do what you want, but I'm setting up a profile. <laughs> hey. Easy breezy. Too bad you'll never know. You don't want to be cool. I don't react to peer pressure. Oh, yeah? Mimi has a profile. <laughs> now all we have to do yeah. is wait for the stampede yeah. of new friends. Our first friend. It's Weenus. Deny. We can't take just anybody. We're going to be drowning in friends. Any second now. Drowning. We should have accepted weakness. That's only for emergencies. 2,000 years and no friends equals an emergency! Now all we have to do is wait for the stampede of new friends. Uh, how long? 2,000 years. No, no, no! And I've gotten fat! Actually, we have a bigger problem. There's two of us. You don't have to do this. It's the only way to protect the space-time contagion. Space-time contagion? It's continuum. You're making this... Like this. Dear frenemy, we are dis... No, disgusted. Yeah, disgusted by your sight. We signed up to make friends, and do you know what we got? Check. Squat. Yeah, lots of exclamation points. You are all stupid heads. Nice. Sign our names and send it. I wish I could see their faces when they read that. It is going to drop like a bomb, buddy. Now! Yeah, our sarcasm and empty threats are just the kind of stuff that minimum wage workers respond to. Uh, dude, they actually wrote back. 
Dear Thrasher and Blastus, sorry you were having trouble making friends on my site. Would you like to be my friend? The site wants to be our friend? Yes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Frenemy. This is a special occasion. I'll post about it. Thrasher, Blastus, and Frenemy are so celebrating. Uh, you're gonna have to give us a second, buddy. We've never befriended a website before. No, but you're pretty chummy with www.kittensintighttanktops.com. You visited it 7,000 times. <laughs> That's not true. Hey, no judgments. Blastus is afraid of soap. Ugh, soap is made from fat. It's creepy. How did you know? You gave me complete access, remember? I know everything about you. But it's cool. Your secrets are safe with me. I'm frenemy. Let's celebrate! <laughs> 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 Today, we're going to cut something open, remove its organs, and catalog the parts. <laughs> Some call it dissection. I call it why I got into teaching. I need volunteers. <laughs> Thrasher and Blastus, come up here. <laughs> Thrasher finds Dreadnought's lectures tedious. Did you get the button I sent you? Ooh, a bunny! Now pay attention. It's a laser scalpel, not a toy. Slice <laughs> open your friend's abdomen. <laughs> then reach inside his gut and feel around for his lubricant pad. Thrasher is hating school right now. Pay attention! <laughs> You're making a mess! Thrasher has just blinded Blastus. He's sending hugs. Blastus has taken Thrasher off his favorites list. Brown face. <laughs> Thrasher! <laughs> Blastus just tagged you in the photo. You should tag him back. I'm trying to sleep. Really? You should post that to keep your contacts updated. My only other contact is Blastus. Uh, and me. Oh, I oh, didn't mean to hurt your feelings. It's cool. I just, well, uh, don't say it, frenemy. It's too soon. It's just, oh, man, I love you guys! <laughs> TMI slash OMG. You go back to sleep. Hey, Thrasher, I tried to add you to my friends list, but you didn't accept. What? You did? Yeah, I get it. You're too cool for everyone else now that you're best buds with frenemy. Frenemy must be blocking our friend requests. That's it. Frenemy is too needy. I know. It kept poking me all night long. Hey, psst. Frenemy is a nightmare. It took over my life until I found Squeaker. It's a new social site for people with very short attention spans. If it's anything like Frenemy, we're not interested. Shut up. Do you want to meet her? Shh. Squeaker is way more mature and laid back. You don't have to deal with Frenemy's baggage and horrible self-esteem issues. But you didn't hear this from me. I wasn't here. I'm a ghost. Look, people have meaningful relationships a sentence at a time. Oh, that's perfect. The more we talk, the worse we come off. For joining. Oh, what are we going to tell Frenemy? We never said we were exclusive. We can see other sites if we want. <laughs> What's going on? Someone murdered Squeaker! Who did this? You did this. Oh. You betrayed me. But I forgive you. It wasn't your fault. Squeaker seduced you with her limited characters. But she's gone. Now we can be together. Oh, Aww. I'm so skeeved out. So sweet. I mean, you went too far. Too far? You're about to see too far. Hey, everyone. I know you all think Thrasher and Blastus are so cool. Nope, I don't. Well, here's what they're really like. <laughs> Mamie, stop. I must have you, Thrasher. Kiss me. B but kiss me! Oh, Mamie. No, no, Mamie. Awkward. That's it. It's time to end this. We have to defriend Frenemy. 
can't believe we have to come all the way out here to deactivate our account. Stand back or face your doom! Who are you? The gatekeeper of the frenemy server! You shall not pass! Do not try to stop us! We're... Dude, what did you eat? It's a fraction of the discomfort you'll face scaling Frenemy Mountain with its razor-sharp cliffs, Magma River, and One-Eyed Titans. Or we could take the shuttle bus. Hey, oh, you saw that? Well, curse you, shuttle bus! Curse your comfort and convenience! I knew you'd come back! And that's why I got us Snuggly Bug Wuggies! We don't want gifts. We're here to stop you. Oh, this is comfortable. Like being inside a pillow. Listen, friend of me, you're obsessed with us. I mean, you murdered another website. Are you gonna keep harping on that? Fine! If I can't have you, no one can! I'm going to post this. Frenemy says death will not separate us. Not if I have anything to say about it. Activate Flame Eyes! Ah! Deactivate Flame Eyes! <laughs> Thrasher, this is the end. Before we go, I want you to know that you're the only robot in the world I really wanted to poke. Blastus, you're a genius! I'm posting a request for everyone to poke Frenemy. Ah, that hurt. Ow! Cut it out! <sighs> Too many pokes! Too many pokes! <laughs> I can't believe how needy, controlling, and insane Frenemy turned out to be. Yeah, and I heard chicks are even worse. Still, I totally want a girlfriend. Oh, of course, I'm just saying. You think we should try one of those dating sites? Couldn't hurt. Too many books, too many books! I can't believe how totally psycho that dating site turned out to be. I know, right? Totally didn't see that coming. Hell, not so fast. New decree by your student body president, Swarm. All students have to ride on the outside of the bus. Isn't that a little dangerous? Yo, oh, you're sweet. I'm gonna be fine. <laughs> I'm starting to think that giving a student body president unchecked power is a bad idea. How did Swarm get elected anyway? Elected? You don't get elected at Harry S. Apocalypse High. You seize power in a violent rebellion. It happens all the time. Ah! No, hate when she takes the shortcut. Ah! Ah! Isn't this where we started? Don't worry. We've got two more lives before the game is over. Where is everybody? Hey, just act normal. He's watching you. One false move and he'll toss you into the sacred dungeon. Who? President Swarm. Oh, my diarrhea of the mouth has betrayed me again. <laughs> the best thing to do is keep our heads down. Don't say or do anything stupid. Definitely. We just need to keep our cool. Hey, you. President Swarm outlawed booting cuffs. Yank. I'll kill you! I'll kill you! I'll kill you! Look! Swarm has locked everyone up down here. Tacklebot, Weenus, Nana. Wait, where's Mamie? Are you didn't hear? President Swarm has her locked in his tower. They say he's torturing her. <laughs> Are you ready to become my queen? Never. Then I'm just going to have to keep reading my blog to you. This entry's titled, There's No I in Team Edward. No one can withstand someone else's blog. We have to save her. Well, the only way to do that is to overthrow Swarm, and that would be insane. Overthrowing Swarm would make you president and me the evil genius pulling your strings. I mean, your trustworthy vice president. 
Attention, everyone. <laughs> we are rotting in the school's dungeon. Well, Swarm has built a lavish palace, erected an enormous statue of himself, and kidnapped our homecoming queen? I say we fight our way out of here and overthrow him. What's in it for us? Uh, freedom? That sounds awful good, huh? Yawn! Really? How about not having to sleep in a dungeon? Dude, if you want to lead, you have to make outlandish promises. Free black holes, invisible underwear, pie-in-the-sky stuff. Like, actual pie-in-the-sky. Oh, they're not idiots. They won't fall for that. Oh. If you help Thrasher overthrow Swarm and make him president, he promises to make the answer to all math questions. Math is stupid! <laughs> He'll drill to the caramel center of the planet. He'll send more troops to fight for global warming. And he will finally force the lobsters to reveal how they do their magic tricks. Uh-oh, -uh. you'll have to catch me first. Stop. Stop this right now. I'm sorry. My friend got carried away with crazy promises. Yo, you head is it, math is stupid. <laughs> Why didn't we do this earlier? Yeah, be honest. I'm usually tired this time of day. <laughs> I like to nap. I love to nap. Boosh! <laughs> In your face. Well, you know, I always felt lazy taking them. But you know what? Look at me. I'm outside, being active, and all thanks to taking a nap. Uh -huh. I feel so good. I'm going to start taking one every day. Ooh, we should do it together. Can you imagine? We've broken Swarm's defenses. We've taken power. But we're not done. We have to save Mamie. You with us, Weenus? You guys have your moment. I'm going to go bust some heads. Go get some! You have to see this video I shot of my kitten trying to stay awake. Hang on. It's loading. It's totally worth the wait. Still loading. Please. Make vlogs stop. Wow, the web is slow today. <laughs> Just a sec, my future queen. Baby, we're here to rescue you. <laughs> All right, let's just calm down. Back off, Swarm, or your blog is toast. <laughs> Don't worry, Mamie. The nightmare is over. Who still uses dial-up, you sick, evil freak? I have the homecoming queen! We found a stash of pudding cups! If you find a tapioca, it's mine! All hail his awesomeness, the royal and blessed ultimate dude, and my best friend, President Thrasher the First! Please stand by! Come on, what are you waiting for? I look like a tool! You're the president! You're supposed to look like a tool. Yeah, no, Ow. stop it! Do not look your lord in the eye. He hates eye contact. Do not attempt to smell his sweet bodily aroma as he passes. Do not try to impress your friends by saying you saw him today. We will deny it, and you will look like an idiot. How dare you step in front of his royalness, you strumpet! Dude, chill for a second. His Majesty has demanded that everyone chill. Let the chilling begin. Do not attempt to fake the chilling. Ugh. Hi, Mamie. Thanks for saving me. Oh, that's OK. Power suits you. R really? Totally. You'll make a great president. But you are missing something. I was born that way, but the doctor said to be patient. <laughs> a first lady, silly. And there's a perfectly good one right next to you. Hey, I'm a dude. Oh, not you. Oh. Me. Oh, oh, really? You and me? As in you and me? Power <laughs> totally rules, dude. Your royal lunch is served. <laughs> Having fun on our first day? Date? Oh, silly. You know that I've always wanted to date you. But you've been dating Megawatt since kindergarten? To make you jealous. Duh. Hold on, sire. The royal food tester will check to see if the food is safe. Seems to check out. 
Wainus, did you try to poison me so you could become president? Maybe. Yes. <laughs> you little scamp. <laughs> <laughs> you know what our first act should be? Commemorative plates to honor how you became the new student body president. And they're made of fudge! Oh. This is the prototype. Not made of fudge. Or buy the school new textbooks. Textbooks? In a school? Why don't we just throw the money away? We could give every kid in the school his own personal library. That's, uh, brilliant. By royal decree, all students will be given their own libraries. <laughs> Our spies say Havoc High is planning an attack. We have to prepare. We should build a decoy school over a volcano. Then we fill the volcano with lions and butt monsters. What's a butt monster? Glad you asked. See, it's going to require some money for DNA splicing, but last is enough with the butt monsters. I've been hearing about this since the third grade. I agree. Butt monsters are silly. Butt monsters are not silly! You heard my queen. Silly. That's the first time you called me your queen. You are my queen. <laughs> Why are these people so angry? Because you wanted to spend all the money on education. Now we're broke. We need to conquer and pillage another school. There's a private kindergarten two blocks away. I say we hit them and hit them hard. Shock and awe, baby. What do you think, Mamie? That's it. I quit. Why? What's wrong? We're best friends. We were supposed to do this together. But now you've got your queen. So, so long, President Jerkenstein. Blastus! Let him go. He's just jealous. It's the price all great leaders must pay. What happened? The private school kindergartners attacked. It's a slaughter! The students from Havoc High are marching through our defenses! Someone gave him the codes! And they brought their allies from Magic Lobster Academy! <laughs> we have to flee! Not so fast. Sorry, Thrasher. Don't take it personally. You did this? It's time this school had a female president. Lucky I came back to get my commemorative plates. Well, your game is up now, Miss Thang. Did you just call me Miss Thang? You. I should have known. No! Blood monsters! <laughs> I don't understand. I siphon funds out of the free lunch program to pay for them. Who loves you, baby? <laughs> Sorry, I called the butt monster silly. They're beautiful. Thank you, butt monsters! I can't believe the butt monsters betrayed us. Sorry, new decree from President Butt Monster. From now on, you've got to talk like a butt monster. Since when? Yesterday, you gotta check my blog, dude. Hey, what's with the guards? How can I explain? Uh, this morning I drained my bank accounts, set fire to my apartment, changed my identity and made a run for the border. Unfortunately, I was arrested and dragged back here because today is the day I have to teach you about your bodies. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> I know, it's horrible. I'm not comfortable talking about my body. You'll learn all the gory details in these. Ugh. Your operating <laughs> manuals. But one warning, don't read them at night. It'll freak you out so bad you'll have run off in your PJ pants. So let's get started with... puberty. Yeah. Awesome. No! I can't do this! I won't do this! Operating manuals rule. 
Ooh, ooh, watch this. High beams. I turn into a nightclub. Sorry, you set off my anti-theft device. Hang on. Cool, huh? Look, seniors. <laughs> so cool. That's because they've gone through puberty. Puberty is a one-way ticket to Cool Town. Plus, once we're through it, they give us motorcycles. We're gonna look so hot, dude. Oh, the shark doesn't like it when you jump over his tank. You wait until I've got my motorcycle, Mr. Shark. I'm gonna jump over your tank every day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maturity rules. According to the manual, puberty should have started five minutes ago. Do you uh, feel any different? No, do you think we'll have to wait until next year? Dude! Your voice? This is brilliant! We're becoming men! We'll also go through an awkward growth spurt. Okay, this has gone in a direction I don't like! What's next? <laughs> it says we're gonna get pimples. <laughs> I'm starving. I can't get enough to eat. Give me back my nuggets. I'm still hungry. Me too. Eat now, because later we're going to feel all kinds of awkward. Dude, about the text I sent. Blow, blow, dude. Oh, come on, man. Give me a break. I'm on an emotional roller coaster. Puberty's kicking my butt. Oh, I'm sick of your feelings. You want some? Fine. Rocket arm. Fire. <laughs> oh, yeah? Sign a steamer. Ben. Sawblade butt. Fire. <laughs> All right, you got it out of your system. Time for you two to hug it out. Hug this. Rocket legs. Fire. <laughs> I'm happy to see you beating each other up, but I'm troubled that it's fueled by anger. He said I had womanly hips. He knows it's a problem area. And the proper response was to beat me with my own leg. Oh, I see. You two are experiencing the beautiful journey into manhood. Isn't it glorious? You must be very excited about going to Jockstrap Island. Uh, never heard of it. Ooh! Watch this, you're gonna love it. For generations, all young robots have gone to Jockstrap Island to prove their manhood. Once there, you will relive the struggle of the mighty Robo-Please. Legend has it that when the great hero went into puberty, Robo-Please traveled to a tiny island in the Acid Sea where he fought Robo-Clam 3000. Today, we insist our boys, like Robo-Please, survive a day on Jockstrap Island before they're considered young men and given really cool motorcycles. Okay. Have a good time, and when you get back, we're gonna take those motorcycles out for a ride. Nothing like the open road, just you, a highway, and your leather chaps. Good times, good times. Mm. Well, here we are, Jockstrap Island. Lame. Wake up, little boys. It's time to become men. Who are you? They call me Chief Sucker Punch. Oh, enough lip flapping. I'm here for my chopper. You can have the choppers if you survive the island, and the odds of that are slim and none. So take a last look at the robots you came with, because the person to your left will die. The person to your right of you will die. The person in between, the person on the left, and the person on the right will die! Well, not everyone dies. There's a gift shop. Yes! If you manage to survive, you can purchase Jockstrap Island funny money that you can then use in the store to buy a souvenir t-shirt or foam rubber hand. Okay, let's get started. You can fight your way to Robo Clean Shrine like men or Run like babies to the beach, where there's a boat to take you home to your mama's. But we get the motorcycles either way, right? Yes, but only by fighting your way to Rubble Clean Shrine will you truly become men. So let's go to the beach, right? You should at least try to find Rubble Clean Shrine. Here's a map. So what if we have a map? This island is swarming with monsters. 
If you work together, you can defeat the monsters! Work together? Oh, well, these losers point me to the beach. But only by battling the monsters will you learn about yourselves and each other. Learn about each other? That's crazy. I vote for the beach. The point of this thing is to fight the monsters. Can I make it any more obvious? <laughs> Just great! I ran out of magic smoke. Uh-oh! Oh! Yeah, run on home to your mommy, punk! Hey, guys, are these your trees? <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, everybody calm down. We just stay cool. Scooter Walruses! <laughs> <laughs> Fear not! We've come to help. There you go! Safe and sound! You have nothing to fear from us. We are your friends. Monsters! Why would you burn us alive? We're only trying to help! You are ungrateful children! <laughs> Cut it out, you little... <laughs> it doesn't have to be this way! <laughs> Ugh, ugh, touch my arm. Man, I'm so skeeved out. I can't get you if you close your eyes. I don't want to die. Guys, look. We found it. The shrine of Robocles. This is where he beat back the monsters. So, we're not going to mention this part, right? Oh, my bad. Another monster is coming. We should run. No, just, just hear me out, guys. What if we weren't brought here for motorcycles? What if we're here to test our bravery? No. There's no way that's right. Sounds so stupid bravery. when you talk. Come what does that on. even mean? No, he's right. What this island teaches us is bravery and spirit. It wants us to learn the motorcycles are inside us. You know these chicks are right? I'm fighting! Yeah, me too. Steve will fight! Don't run, babe. You just stand your ground. Ah! People respect you and... Ah! Let's get it, dude. ain't the pretty one. He was the best of us. What did he say? The motorcycles are inside us all. Wait, the motorcycles are inside us all? Look at what I found on page 49. Uh, uh, oh, ah! oh, oh. Did you poop a motorcycle? How'd you do that? <sighs> I just had to flick the switch. Where is it? I think you know. Sweet. Let's ride! You're alive? The monsters aren't real. This whole island is just... Uh, tell them. An amusement park. And you can't tell anyone about this. The legend of Robocles is vital to the culture of Insanus. If you expose it, think of the consequences. I can't think of any. I'm drawing a blank. Okay, fine. But everyone sends their kids here. And we make a ton of money at the gift shop. I won't go back to my paper route. I won't. If you want us to keep your secret, we want a 50% discount at the gift shop. 50%? That's highway robbery. and pooping the motorcycles? You know what makes me feel like a man? The leather chaps I got at the gift shop. Oh, you got that right. Nothing more manly than tight leather chaps. Woo! Eh, uh, mine are kind of bunching. This is gonna be a long ride. Hmm. 
taking some wire men to my rusty pot. Rusty creepies. Part of a nutritious breakfast. <laughs> you may be wondering why I broke into your homes and abducted you. No, that happens all the time. Almost every day. Well, this time it's because I'm the mutilation ball coach, and you've all been drafted onto the team. Oh. This year, we've ditched all that bulky, indestructible armor for a slimmed-down aerodynamic uniform made from a light, breathable fabric. Uh, these are just jock straps. Fire retardant jock straps. Watch. Wow, that is retardant. <laughs> I see a hand. Yes, um, I don't know how to play this game. <sighs> There are 73,411 rules, but once you learn them, it's simple. The ball attaches itself to a player and begins consuming his fluids. Your teammates will mercilessly shoot you with lasers. That's why I suggest you burrow under the ground and suffocate the ball. Then again, I'm your coach, and your coach is also trying to defeat you. Anyway, if the field feels like it, it will turn to lava and you'll have a jousting tournament. If not, you can choose to pass the ball or let it eat you, but you must do this above ground and before the dragons attack. See, it's all about strategy. What? Exactly! Now let's shred some faces! Oh, that was brutal. I was punched, bitten, and stabbed. Yeah, being a bench warmer sucks. Oh, I love you! Oh, fire mutilation ball! <laughs> We were on the team, too. Why aren't we getting that kind of attention? Tacklebot is the team captain. The alpha dog, man. And ladies love the alpha dog. You man enough to be the alpha dog? Absolutely. Oh, yeah? Bark for me. Woof. That's a puppy. Give me alpha dog. Louder. Ruff, ruff. Look at the scary alpha dogs. Now sniff the ground. Oh, what are you two? Whoa! No sniffing there. He must smell your dog. But I don't have a dog. If we're gonna take over the team, we need to get in shape. Who better to help us than the very robot we intend to destroy? Students become the masters. Nice. Hey, Coach wants you to help us get in shape. His exact words were, turn these chicks into men. Okay, let's do this. Students become the masters. <laughs> <laughs> this will work your core. Oh! <laughs> 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 Nice job. Let's turn these things up to ten. You want us to box space cows? Uh, over. Roger that. Over. Get in there! It's not personal, space cow. Uh, Hit her with a right! I can't see! Uh, <laughs> you think you can take my spot? I'm the alpha dog! Oh, go get him, ladies! Uh, 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 Face it, we're never gonna be mutilation ball stars, dude. Hey, I heard you cry, babies. Wah, wah. I'm a baby. I like to play. Why can't the baby play? Uh, yep. You totally nailed us. I've been watching you sit around, waiting to be given an opportunity. Dreaming about the spotlight instead of going out and getting it. Scratching your butts and then smelling your hands. I didn't do that. Did you? Let the man talk. If you boys want to be stars, you need the tonic. It's a physical enhancement cocktail. It'll make you faster, and it'll make you stronger, and quite possibly it'll make you infertile. Who's first? Sounds like gasoline and feet. What's in it? Angel farts. What do I know? It comes out of a pipe down by the playground. You want to be stars or not stars? I think this is a bad idea. The side effects might be dangerous. <laughs> okay, then. Tastes like gasoline and feet. Boys, most of the team was decimated during the pre-game pep talk. I'm at the bottom of the barrel. Actually, I'm, I'm underneath the barrel. Miles beneath the barrel. What are you saying? You two are all I've got. Get ready. You're playing tonight. Uh-oh. Run for your lives! Uh -oh. I'm seriously bummed that tonic didn't uh, work. Yeah. If you can't trust creepy strangers in locker rooms selling you mystery drinks, who can you trust? Oh. 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 Last 
justice. not against the rules, it's encouraged. In fact, it's the point of the game. Yeah! Now that's dedication. His mind is always in the game. Hi, Bostis. I am such a huge fan. Dude, what are you doing? You know I've got a thing for Mamie. So, uh, got any more of that tonic? Welcome to exciting high school mutilation ball action! It's Thrasher and Blastus, the Cinderella story of Mayhem Incarnate. Blastus has torn open the very fabric of reality. If they keep this up, they're going pro! Boy, howdy, they've even seen the announcement! Oh, the tonic fried my insides. I've forgotten most of my childhood. I can't stop shaking. I'm having terror daydreams. Totally worth it. We need to get more. Real alpha dogs don't need to drink stuff that comes out of a pipe at the playground. Arf! Do you want our autographs or not? Boys, there's someone here to offer you an amazing opportunity. Dude, that dude's the janitor. And the pro mutilation bull coach. I'm here to sign this school's three best players. Thrasher, Blastus, and... Thrasher and Blastus. Why, that's three, right? Tonic mess with my numbers. Oh, uh, hello? What about Tacklebot? Watch it, kid. I told you I can only take three. Dude, we're going pro! And at last, the students become the masters. Oh, my God! I'm a little envious, boys. Yeah, it's been a long time since my glory days on the mutilation ball field. You were a player? What happened? Time happened. No, time is not that cruel. And the tonic. Yeah, it has a few long-term side effects. But hey, what ain't bad for you these days, right? <laughs> ah! Ow! Ah! No! Don't act up today! Got a big game? <laughs> Welcome to the big show, boys. Those are mutilation balls? They're huge! Oh. How did they get like that? Well, they used to be a peaceful race of blue balls. You know, lame. So we kidnapped their babies and sent them to insane <gasps> for you kids to play with. And I got the parents mad. Oh, it's like the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. Oh, ah, ah. Ah, no big whoop. I can walk this off. You don't have legs. Good eye, boy. Good eye. It's just like the mutilation boy you played in high school. Except there are no fans and no stadium. Right. And you don't keep score and the game never ends. Now you're getting it. And it's not really a game, but a full-blown war that you provoke just for the fun of it. Exactly. Just a few itsy bitsy differences. Nothing to worry about. Just drink the tonic. Another of those nasty side effects? This is one of the fun ones. Going pro is not as awesome as I had imagined. Yeah, I pictured something else entirely. I really don't want to drink this. Ah, just give me the tonic. I'll do it myself. Mine. Uh-oh. No 
Those balls are already swollen with rage. If they get any angry at it... <laughs> What have you done? I think we won. You weren't supposed to win. You were supposed to get caught up in a pointless battle with no end. Now my league is ruined. No more mutilation balls. No more pros. Ah, you stinking kid. <laughs> Could we get me to a doctor? the middle of nowhere. Yeah, you said this field trip was dangerous. Most of us wouldn't survive. Wait for it. Oh, should we be taking notes on this? Ah! For several weeks, we've been studying what we call the outside. So I've invited an expert to speak to us. Meet the Gorax! Ah! I am the Gorax. I hack through the trees. Trees? <laughs> Trees are a myth. You think so, Pee-wee? Look! <laughs> I thought they were just stories our parents made up to give us nightmares. They are real, and they will spread across insaneness like a plague, choking the smog out of the air and making temperatures dangerously comfortable. <laughs> oh, come on. Plants are dangerous. Plants aren't dangerous? What? <laughs> <laughs> that tree stole the dog's identity and ruined his credit. And the same thing could happen to you. And up, jibber jabber. It's time to do your part for the environment by killing it. Silly. Plants and robots can peacefully coexist. Yeah? That's what they said about the marauding horror scrogs of Plus Planet 9. Hey, who, who drank all the milk? Uh -huh. Couldn't tell you, man. Uh, I can't stand it! He's a machete <laughs> He's tough. I'll handle this. Let's do Super hey. Stop Theater! That was awesome! Listen, this whole destroy the environment stuff isn't really my thing. I'm heading back to the bus. Not your thing? This is as rad as it gets, bro! <laughs> See? <laughs> Psst, help me. Blastus, I told you if you need someone to lube your chassis, ask a grown up. Down here! You're a talking plant. Well, give a medal to Captain Obvious. I'm the green spirit of Insanus, the living embodiment of Mother Nature. I could tell you're a sympathizer. Hide me! Yeah, I could get into a lot of trouble. Come on, man. Your freaky friends are hunting me. In your belly? I was thinking maybe a hotel. Shh, keep it down or we'll get caught. I'll take you out later when we're alone. Um... Were you talking to your... No! Because it sure looked like you were talking to your... I was not talking to myself, nor to any individual part of myself. Whatever. You're never gonna believe what happened! Best day of school ever! Dudes, can I trust you with a huge secret? Is it embarrassing? Yeah, it doesn't matter. The answer's probably no. What up, party people? Hey, what are you doing? Are you crazy? I'm supposed to breathe in here. Plants are dangerous! She's harmless, and she needs my help. Let me out of here! I hate you. Die! Your friends won't snitch, will they? Snitches get stitches, yo. Don't worry. Just get some sleep, and we'll figure out what to do tomorrow. Hey! I need light to live. Well, I need dark to sleep. 
Metal face? Uh, yeah, I also need water. There. Anything else? Fertilizer. Fertilizer? Dude, there is nothing like a pile of pungent black fertilizer. It's chock full of nutrients, all natural, and it is delicious. Ugh. What? Ah, uh, you forgot to check for monsters. There's no monsters. I see monsters. <sighs> what are you doing? Be brave, Blastus. Remember the plan? Thrasher, your interest in plants has gotten out of control, and I want you to go to a place where you can get better. Blastus, this is really not a problem. He's a denial! I'm sorry, buddy. This is for your own good. Citizen, we are only here because we care about you and want the best for you. <laughs> I don't know you! Keep an eye on the organic. Don't let it get away. Ha! You'll never take me alive! <laughs> Your little green friend escaped, but we've got you! This movie exposes the truth about your fertilizer-munching comrades. I just can't choose between you and Jake. The werewolf? That's who I have to compete with? <laughs> no, 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 no. This isn't the movie that makes you hate plants. It's the one that makes you stupid. I, I can find the plant-hating brainwashing video. Then what have we got? Uh, talking trains? I'm a steam train and a really useful engine. What have we done? My friend is a muttering num-num. Toot, toot. I think he's funny. No worries, Steel Butt. I'm gonna bust you out this joint. You're no match for us. Oh, really? I've got fertilizer. Ow. Oh, that did not just happen. Oh, it happened, man. She ate it! Thrasher! Yesterday, I was on a field trip, and now I'm on the most wanted list. Lassus was right. We never should have helped you. Dude, chill. Let's not forget who sent you to be brainwashed. I'm the only friend you've got. Uh, maybe you're right. Of course I'm right. And once we have the super fudge, we'll make them all pay. The super fudge? It's a chunk of infinitely concentrated super fertilizer. Enough to feed a trillion plants. You'll never get in. I've heard of this place. Every inch is programmed to kill living things. Which is where you come in, my robot pal. You can walk right in with me, hidden in your belly. What am I supposed to say? That I'm doing a book report on the super fudge? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yep, I'm also a security guard. Mm, impressed. Uh... The extra coin comes in handy, but it's really about the bragging rights. I'm guarding the super fudge, the most powerful fertilizer in the universe. I tell women that, and they just freak. You know what's in the super fudge, right? I try not to think about it. So, this is for your book report, is that right? Yep. Ah, uh, works for me. It's... You know I'd come for the super fudge. Seriously? <laughs> Hello? We were only together for like five years. Super fudge is all you ever talked about. Super, super, super fudge. Wait, you two know each other? Uh, I used to date you, right? He's right, guys. And I'm actually the scrap metal spirit of insanity. And a no good lying cheater. Sweetheart, you never let me explain. Explain? How do you explain those emails to the fire spirit of Insanus? Hmm? Busted! Soon, you and all your precious robot kind will be ancient history! Uh, what? Oh, yeah. I, um, yeah. I've been using you to help me wipe out your whole race. <laughs> now, hold on! I learned a lot since I broke into Thrasher's house, had him beaten, brainwashed, and then posted video of it. You only truly hurt the ones you love. Blastus is right. I think you two just need to admit you belong together. Just like me and my buddy. Maybe they're right, baby. Give us one more chance. Oh, baby, I... I... I'm gonna smash your stupid face. Oh, 
fudge. Gorax, no! <coughs> you have to stop her. The fate of Robot Guy is in your hands. How are we supposed to fight that? <coughs> you need an energy source as powerful as the Super Fudge. You need to... Eat me! Uh, do we have to? Oh, yeah. It's the only way. Do it! Uh -huh. Do it! Do it! Listen, bud, you had me fooled for a while, but you forgot one important fact. We're killer robots. Emphasis on the word killer. You go, girls. in the fertilizer. No! <laughs> that's just wrong! And I kissed her on the mouth! On her mouth! Am I the only one who thought it was fudge? <laughs>